a lot of people like a lot when people ask me about tunes or want feedback on tunes and stuff i'm like the first thing i will tell them is just to sit on it always always sit on it do you know what i mean because there's always something you can learn and apply to it later down the line just to make sure you get the utmost out of the music before you let any like anyone in the public hear it do you know what i mean it's, that's just the one one rule i live by now i've got music that i've been sitting on for like two years do you know what I mean? So, right. I'm, I'm, and so when, when is it ready? When do you when do you get when do you get to that point where you go right? I think I've tweaked it enough because that that's also one of the things one of the main things that we face here at Escapade where, yeah. where all the students and people that come through the doors are like, when is it actually ever done? And someone like yourself, it's had multiple releases, it's got a label. Even you're sitting on stuff for a couple of years sometimes. So what what do they do? I remember I remember watching one of your podcasts, and I think it was with. Gary Beck, I think it was, and you guys were sitting there talking about the same subject, and Kirkwood said something that kind of, you know, it's always stuck in my head, and it kind of, it gives me a little, like, rule of thumb to go by. See, when you're sitting just making minor tweaks to either the decibel level, or, yeah. do you know, just like point one of a fucking decibel, and you're like, nah, nah, that, I think that's <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I mean? If you're just tinkering, then it's time to move on, or just come back to it when you feel like you can actually add something more to the track, you know what I mean? I think though also <clears throat> I think this it does come with that experience though because if you are an up and comer and you've never had something released and then mm. all of a sudden maybe some big DJ that you've looked up to has maybe supported your track or you've managed to get on a label it's, mm. it's quite a rushed game because you're so excited by this new thing you're yeah. now you're a part now. Of well, I like even like see being part of the rat race do you know what I mean like I, it took me a while to learn that you don't have to like as soon as you fizz, finish a project you don't need to fire it out to like loads of people just to get feedback or like try and get it on the biggest best labels you know be patient with your tunes and you like like when you're talking about when you know it's finished also comes with experience do you know what I mean like you'll know like I've had guys come to me and send me a track and it'll have like an element in there that kind of sticks out and you're like, nah, that, you know, that's taken away from the project or it's not really doing anything. And what they say is, oh, well, I felt like it needed this extra. But when you've got like experience to be able to like get the most out of each like channel strip and stuff like that, you'll know whether it needs more or less the yeah. more you work with music. Do you know what I mean? And uh -huh. it kind of comes, it's like an intuition. You're like, right, that's it. Don't need to touch this anymore. You know what I mean? That's it. I think um, you know feedback is key, and 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 but how you take that feedback as well, because again, it's your project. You're so precious towards it. It's like no, I don't need to change this. Out. Like I, 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 yeah, that when someone asks me to comment on their own like music, I I get like a bit uh, standoffish because music, like music's it's art, it's subjective, it's open to interpretation. Do you know what I mean? So for me to sit there and go. Nah, I would like to hear this and this and this. It's irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. It's how you want your music to sound, and that's all that matters. So if you're happy with it, then that's it. I mean, you can give constructive feedback on it, getting the most out of the sound. But when he says, or oh, when someone says to me, or oh, does this bass line sound good? Is there enough groove in it? I'm like, well, what? what's your opinion on it? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't like sitting there telling people to change pieces of their music because it's not my music. 